Let me take this opportunity, this final speech, to talk about the kind of choices we need to make as a union to succeed in the years ahead. Let's choose to be a union that's tough, as tough as those sanitation workers in Memphis Local 1733 who put their lives on the line in 68 to win collective bargaining. We never stop fighting for the rights of our members. Let's choose to be a union that's quick, that can bounce back fast and hard when we're hit. Let us choose to be a union that's diverse, with all kinds of leaders. Let's choose to be a union with ambition, a union that dreams big dreams, like we had in Pennsylvania. I remember the struggle we had to win collective bargaining for all state employees in the Commonwealth. People were afraid at first to fight for their rights. They were afraid that the boss would fire them if they took a stand. Tens of thousands of employees could lose their jobs just because a new governor got elected. That actually happened while we were organizing. A new governor got elected a Democrat. And all the workers hired during the prior two administrations were at risk of being replaced by political hires. 20,000 in the Department of Transportation alone. We fought that, and we fought hard, and we won, and we won big, because we dreamed big. And we made those dreams come true. Finally, Let's choose to be a union, and this is important particularly this week, choose to be a union that's united. As we work our way through this historic week, let's remember what solidarity really means, that we're in these fights together. We're in them for the long haul. Let's try to hear one another out without rancor, without anger. Let's remember the one thing that is certain. Solidarity, like trust and love, can only be enjoyed when it is shared. For the past three decades, you have entrusted me with the stewardship of this remarkable union. Presidents and officers come and go, but absent me the institution, the union we have built stays, goes on and on. Sisters and brothers, I have always believed in you and in what together we could accomplish for our members and for others. I have always been proud of the choices you have made, not just for ourselves, but for all the working families of America. My dream, perhaps me, is that you will choose to travel the road ahead with courage, determination, and yes, with solidarity forever. Are you ready to fight for the future? Are you ready to get back up and fight even harder? Are you ready to stay in the game, ready to seize every opportunity and help turn the tide? Are you ready to make history? Are you ready to win? Thank you, AFSCME. Have a great convention. Da, da.